Yep, there we go. Okay. See all numbers like that? That means mm. the memory is clear enough to do it. Okay. Here is my dad um, cleaning his brakes. Well, putting copperies on the copperies. He's just good at squeaky brakes. Yeah. Interesting, eh? Mm. Oh, gee, that, that's a squeak. Yeah, it's just a disc rubbing on the brake pad that I've just put back in. Ah. That's the process you really need to do um, before you put that back in, eh? You yeah. take that part out of this, mm -hmm. then you put some of this stuff this on here. That's the brake pad. That's the brake pad? Yeah. Interesting. And this is the... Yeah, put too the... much brake there. Yeah, it's rubbing against the thing, I can mm -hmm. see it. If I just zoom up on the camera, you can actually kind of see it. When I turn it, look, that's what. Mm. Well, it sounds like a bell, doesn't it? Yeah. I think it does that every once in a while, doesn't it? I'm just only doing that because it's... I've got the, um, the pads out at the moment. Oh, yeah. I'm sure my dad is on. Sounds like a bell, doesn't it? You yeah. turn that, listen. Yeah. Sounds like a bell. It's like yeah. imitating a bell, don't you think? Yeah. See all the little, little, little dust figures? Yeah, it's all the bright dust. Yeah, bright dust. Off. But I would say, um, on these phones, the camera is actually pretty, pretty good. Mm hmm. Very really good camera. Yeah. I zoom up on like that. Mm -hmm. Start to turn. If you see that little notch right there, that is the counterbalance thing on it, eh? To balance the. What? Right there, right here. Yeah, it balances it. Um, the one thing you, that you do not do at all is to put um, oil on the brakes no. No, or any sort of liquid, otherwise that will... That wouldn't be very good at all. No, you wouldn't be able to stop in time in traffic. That's right. So that is a definite, definite no-no. Mm. And this is a little wire brush that you use to clean it and all that, like mm -hmm. that. Are you thin with a wire brush, huh? Mm. Push that in. Oh, a little caliper there. That's a caliper. Just around the corner. I forget the camera in there. Uh huh, yep. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. Very interesting, eh? But, um, on for the next part, we are going to be doing the next wheel. So, you'll see that after this. But for now, you guys can just have a look if you want. Oh, yep. There's the rubbing. Yeah, I've got to stick the wheel back on there. Oh, yeah, and also there's the wheel back there as well. A big guy, eh? A big boy. A 27 inch wheel, that is? Is that a 27 inch? Yeah, but you hold the camera down and I can now put it back on. I've got dirty hands mate. Oh, oh, uh, okay, you do it then. <laughs> oh, I can help put the bolts back in though, eh? I can help put the nuts back in. Oh, get over that thing. Much room here. That's why it's only a um, hundred pounds of rubber right there, right here. hundred pounds of rubber. Not sure. Don't know, I have to look it up on Google. Mm. Google. Yeah. Yeah, 
Can you get it in there right? Hmm. Okay. Lined up a bit. Uh -huh, yeah, it's lined up with the bolts. And start at least. Because the um, first ever time that we ever tried to do this thing, like even us were on so tight that we had to use like some levers in order to get it off. Didn't we? We need um some serious leverage when we, very very first time we ever took this off. It was like extremely extremely tight. I think they used like one of those impact guns that were just going. Oh. Tighten it up all the way, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. You can see where the thing in there actually joins in. Yeah. With the wheel right there. Got the little knots there that's moving. Very interesting. I better turn my flash off so it doesn't drain the battery. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it, it takes a bit of power in order to do it, you know? Mm -hmm. Fingers. Yeah. What has it? What are you right here? Everything like Katie. Do the next one and you hold the camera, Dad. Hang on, I'm just trying to get a thing, get it located in the holes. Alright. So it goes. Um, oh. This car is actually a GS250 Lexus, isn't it? Give it a spin as well. No, don't, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll let you do it then. Just until it stops. Yeah, completely until it stops. And, and it's like you can't give it a little spin just to make sure it's completely centered. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Yeah, like that. Just give it a good spin, you know. Send it, just give it a nice good spin. Yeah, perfect. That's good. Really, really good, good talk on it too, eh? Right? Good talk. And we'll let it down and then we'll do it up again. Lovely. She's yeah. nice and setting and everything. Yeah, yeah right, it keeps spinning it until that thing is down. Oh! It's down already. Yeah, we're not far off, eh? yeah. Uh, about a centimeter off the ground. If I get up a bit tighter. But um, you needed the mallet in order to get the thing undone, eh? That. No, I used the mallet to get the pin out with the caliper. No, I meant on the nuts, on the, the actual bolts. No, no, I didn't use that. Just do it as tight as you can, like hand tighten. Yeah. And turn it up even more when it puts down on the ground. Oh, it's horrible, eh? You need to get a proper jack for that thing. Yeah. But it also acts as a handle as well, doesn't it? Yeah. For that thing. Yeah. This one's already gone up to nine minutes already. Wow. Ooh. And it slowly just um, lifts the thing back down, eh? I can see it going on my knee right there. If you guys look ca carefully, Look, you see that? Goes down like that. Ooh, that's some pretty, pretty good high quality rubber, eh? And that's the engine. Ooh, big BC. Got a battery at the front as always. Got a positive covered up and a negative bolted on the battery.
I'm gonna throw this hot tight as you can, eh? Oh yeah, I think it's definitely on there good. Yeah. Yeah. That's how most people sure. they like to put their foot on it, it's just uh, stand on it, make sure it's tight enough. Alright. One wheel down, one to go now. It's only the two front ones that we're actually going to do. Mm -hmm. I bring all your tools around for you. Mm -hmm. Including the copper E's. Is that what it's called? Copper E's? Yeah. That's the stuff there for you. Mm -hmm. All the car supplies and... It's that thing too. Stuff around for him. My dad. Yeah, he's a good dad. Little supplies. You already need any help? Hmm. Oh, you good? Okay. Right here, here are the little things right here, the little pins. Yeah, thank you. I've got those um, latex gloves that you got on. Yeah. Latex. You want to show them? Yeah, the latex. Yeah, that's tight, isn't it? Can I try to do it? Or what? You hold the... It's alright, I'll, I'll clean the thing. I'll clean it. It's alright. <laughs> that's tight! No, that's fine. That loosened it. <laughs> yeah, that's my technique of doing it, eh? That one's done already, I think. Oh, <laughs> it is. Oh. So is that one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, hang on, don't loosen them all too much because I've got it jacked up. Oh. It's all right. We just want to loosen it. Gonna loosen it a little bit, huh? Yeah. It's all right, I'll, I'll right. clean the camera after the video. Right, hey, right. you, you guys seen it? That was my little technique of doing that, just putting my foot on it a little bit mm -hmm. until it just went bang straight on and break the seal. Yeah. It's like similar to these ones here, eh? Right? Those are calipers in there inside that wheel. That master, that's a master. Mazdor. Oh, I get it? Mazdor. <laughs> Mazdor. This is a Lexus. ATR Sports. This is a sports tire, I think. Sports car as well. Oh. It's starting to move. I'm not sure you can see it on camera, but it's starting to move. Look. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. That's annoying when you have to keep doing that all the time, eh? There's like 70 pounds of rubber right there. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much rubber they actually use to make tires like this in the mold. Mm -hmm. oh, not quite. It's not even off the ground yet. <laughs> Why do, 
Why did you have the hood up? So I can have to take the slack and the lid on the brake reservoir and ah. push the calipers back and the calipers will open. Ah. So why well, you had to open it up? Do oh, that. Sorry. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now it's. I can see the patch where it's been laying on the ground. Look, you can see the wet patch. Yep. Let's do it. Right. Get the stuff out of the way. Don't press anything. <laughs> I forgot it wasn't this time. Is it still recording? Yeah. Oh. This is how you take it all off, guys. Like that. Sometimes I like to. My dad likes to do it in a crisscross pattern, like that. No, it's only when you're doing it up you have to do that. That means that make sure it's um mm -hmm. oh, this is the bolts right there. Mm -hmm. Massive. They're pretty big. Mm. This is the right size for this gigantic wheel. Huh. This is like a twenty seven inch, twenty seven point eight or twenty nine. No, I think it's eight I think it's eighteen inch. Ooh, eighteen inch, that's pretty big. Well, whatever it says on the tire. There'll be three numbers there, won't there? Yeah, not right here. It says 225 slash 50 ZR17.94. Yeah. 17 inch then. 17, 17 inch size. 17.94 inch. Well, the rims. Is rims it the actual be. wheels like this? Yeah, the rim. The diameter of the rim mm. is 17 inches. means the tyres aren't too expensive. Oh, that's good. Mm. Well, really, so at least sporty ones are a bit more expensive. Yeah. You think? Yeah. Oh, dear thing. And the big bolts. Yep, fall down, one to go. Yep. I can put that in, he editing, just write it up on the screen, eh? Mm. Like this, four down, one to go. Mm -hmm. Five bolts is a lot for a wheel, isn't it? Oh yeah. It's and usually just four. I can see the little pin in there too. You know, a yeah, big long pin. That's the one we have to pull out to get the brake pads out. What are these things in there? Mm. Are you actually like going to actually like take those things out? No, you don't need to take those out. Just look. Pull that pin out and the brake pad slide out. Ah, that's the brake disc. That's the brake disc, yes. Ah. Alright. Might have to lift it slightly out as well. Get myself caught on the spring inside. No. Cool, well then. Yeah. Pull it out and wheel it. Oh, the spring's a beast. Wheel it Woo! over here. Just drop it on its, yes. or put it on its side, don't drop it, and see if you can slide it under the car. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, Get back that's up the one. Bit back up. Because then, if something happens with the jack, uh -huh. well, the car will fall the car. onto the wheel. And that's it. We'll catch it. Alright, yeah. so that is the pin down there that my dad has to take out. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Thanks for holding the camera for me. Mm. Mallet. Ah, I forgot about that concrete, it's hard. Mm. You just knock the pin out. Yeah. Mm. 
temperature in there. Yeah. Ooh, I'm just knocking the pin out, you see? Uh huh, yeah, I see it. A big, big, big pin in there. Just... Oh, I was that thing you were inserting in order to get that thing out. Yeah. So we pull the pin out now. Pull the clip yeah. off. Yeah, clip. That's a big and clip. Wait, hey, channel locks. They look like channel locks, eh? You put the grips on there. On and there. You squeeze it slightly, and that opens the caliper. Oh, that's good. Do the same on this side. Yep. Just squeeze it slightly, and then it makes a gap, and then the pads can just slide out. Oh, cool. And just slide out like that. Look. Yeah, we'll allow well, you to um, do that a bit more, eh? Wouldn't it? Clean that little wire brush that we've got somewhere. Still got a bit of copperies on there too, what? Yeah, that'll be on the That'll be on their lifetime or something. Yeah. Just give the sides a bit of a clean. And there is a big big spring in there, the big boy, eh? That makes it go up and down, that it absorbs That's the vibration. Part of, yeah, part of the suspension, that is. That absorbs it on. Is that like metal or something? Yeah, Steel? Yeah. Huh. That's, oh, that's a big boy. This is the end board. Now, um, do um keep in mind, these things actually get extremely hot when you break on them extremely hard. If you do a lot of breaking, then yes, they do get hot. Yeah. They've got these channels here where the air is coming through and it channels air onto the disc. And it stops it from keeps, melting. Keeps the disc cool, or cool air. Oh, cool. That's interesting. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I see it. Uh, can you see on the screen right there, Dad? Yep. That's where it goes, eh? Right That's through there. One. It goes straight into there somewhere, and then it comes out this little part, and then it keeps the thing cool here. Yep. And then there's another clean in here. So when this is turning along, There'll be like, um, I think the air from outside will go through here and then it'll keep it cool. Yeah, it keeps the, keeps the brakes and the wings and things cool. Yeah. Give that a quick clean in there. <laughs> yeah, blow it all out, eh? Right? Blow it all out. Coppery's grease. <laughs> Get it? Coppery's grease, that's pretty good. Bit of coppery's on the edges. It's metal to metal, you see, that's, that'll be causing the. Um, yeah, and it's metallic stuff, eh? It's metallic. Yeah. Bit of coppery's on the back of the pads. Yep. Mm, interesting. It looks like right there. Ooh, it's weird. Well, that's grease with copper in it. Yeah. But you don't want to get the, the grease on the um, on the discs themselves because it won't do much for your stopping. Nope. Right. No, it definitely won't. So that's. It won't do anything to your engine. It. That's the inboard. It's a bit of copper ease on there. Look, not too much on the edges. I'm going to shine the light on it real quick. And then it just slides back into place. Oh, nice. Like that. Oh, that's clever. Cool. We'll do the same on this one. So, um, there's also like two on each wheel. Two on each of these things. Two brake pads, yes. One for the back, one for the front. Oh. So, like, two of those in each caliper. That does its work. Anti, 
quality um, chatter shims these are obviously original brake pads original model okay the um, car so yeah. let's stick a bit of stuff in I don't know what this um, middle piece here is for. I think as where the bearing goes in there. Oh, the bearing! Mm -hmm. Oh, it's got bearings on the wheel. Yeah. Oh. Right. So um, when right, so when we put it back on. Pads are done. Just a bit of a clean off as well. That's my feet in the background, just sunbathing. <laughs> You see, that's your sunbathing right there. Hi, Muffy! Yes, yeah, she, yeah, she looks like a little jousting horse. <laughs> yeah. she, she looks like a little jousting horse. That's so cute. So, yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever she says. Let's get that back in there. Yeah. Let me see. Oh uh, yeah, I see where the pin goes. It goes in between this part here, eh? Like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, it holds it in place. Yeah. <sighs> Interesting. How about I can try and put the this thing in this time. I can try and do it this time. It goes in there. And then if you hold the pin in bracket. I hold the bracket in. in. And I'll push the pin in. That's it. Yay! And then use a mallet just to and you'll see it come through in a oh, bit. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Can't tell. I can't see in the thing. I can't see in the hole. Mm, I don't suppose it makes any difference. Mm. Yeah, it maybe probably it will. will. Maybe it will. Best to put it back the way it came out. Eh? Yep. I'll hold that so it doesn't fall out and shatter. And push on the bracket. Yep, I'm pushing on it. Mm, should go in this way, really. I'm pushing on it as hard as I can. Nice. If, um, you don't you don't use a hammer otherwise you'll damage the pin. I'm not using a hammer, I'm using a mallet. No, I'm just saying um oh, okay. just push on there. There we go. Yeah. Hopefully. That will have cured a squeaking problem. Yeah. The time being, anyway. I was like, what a vibration! Huh? Right, I'll do the wheel now. Okay, I'll just... Uh... <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, doesn't matter. Right. can do that. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, there is a bearing in there. You see that? No, there's no bearing in there. The bearing will be in the hut. Oh, somewhere in there. Maybe oh. someday we'll be able to look in there once the thing wears out and we'll see it. Well, hopefully it won't wear out for a while. Yeah, line it up. Oh, line that thing up like that. Oh, it's the idiot just to line it up with the thing. Yep. Oh. I don't want it to go in half alignment either. No. Oh, that's why I have to start all over again. All right, that's not too heavy for you. It's quite a heavy no. wheel. It's that's quite it. a big boy, though. Mm. I'm trying not to bump the caliper, but I don't want to damage it. No, oh, you won't damage it. Don't worry about that. Oh, you right. They sure are made they all, metal, but... Make sure they all line up and it should just slide on. Do you want me to do it? Right. It's quite really heavy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You want me to do it? Nah, uh, I think it's best that you do it. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Sorry, yeah. I tried, but one day, yeah, one day I'll get it. Car.
Yeah, I got it lined up for you though, but. Yeah. Okay, you got it in there for me. Yeah. Most people have strong muscles, eh? Most okay. people do. Yeah. You just put one in. Yeah, and now we are to put the rest in. Now we are to put the rest in by hand. Yeah, just start by hand. Yeah. Now we are to. Oh, yeah, that's got copperies on here as well on the bolts. Oh, is it? Okay. Huh. I didn't even realise that. Huh. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Right here. Oh, this piece. Oh, can't be late. Oh, that's a smell, isn't it? Oh. Similar smell to mine. Is it? Bennett, Dad. Go on there. Go on there. I think there's an ant in there, isn't there? An ant? Go on, just do it out. Oh, what were you saying? Start that one as well. Well done. <laughs> That's a good one. Mm. Just run. Cool. <laughs> right, I'll just make sure they're like. There's just a bit of gas left in there and it needs to be released. Yeah. <laughs> start it until it starts locate because it's. Well, that was a good way of doing it, eh? Right, like that. Yeah. Watch out. Well, the next one, no. Just do them up until they stop, that's fine. That's one thing I have to remember. Yep. This is the... This is one, one, one of the things that yeah, they... Right. You need to do when you put your wheel on. Yeah, do that until it stops. Right, 19 inch wheel, 18 inch. It's a 17 inch wheel. That one Ooh, makes. That's pretty big, though, right? About the size of my speaker. Mm. This whole wheel here is about the size of my speaker. Mm. Mm. Nah, that's a good way. There we go. Now we're cooking. Mm -hmm. Yep, you saw it stop. Right, we need to just nip them up. No. No. Oh, no. Yeah. It's a bit tight. Oh, you do it that way. Right. I'll let the, let the jack down. Let it down. Sometimes I, I like to spin it until the thing gets down, you know, I like just keep spinning it and like that and everything. Look at that. That took a few seconds to stop, what? Yeah. yeah. Stops. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it's. It stops, is it? Okay. Oh, you really need to fix that problem in there, Dad. Look, mm -hmm. a bit loose. Mm. Oops, need to sort that out. When you stagger them like that, and you know it's. Them up universally. Mm. They're all done up. Yeah. Just go in and make sure they're all done up. Mm hmm. And then let the jack down all the way. We can put everything away and go for a spin. Yeah, we could do. Well, if not, we'll have to saw it out again. Yeah, we can put the car through the car wash. And let it wash the, the things out, eh? Yeah. 
That is a weird noise. That's coming from the gloves, isn't it? Yeah. It... That's weird. Gloves on, keep your hands clean. Very satisfying sound. <laughs> As you know, um, when you scrape that on the ground, what you're doing now, it will go through the whole jack and then... Go mm. on that. Yeah. That's weird. Manufactured Ooh. by multi strata Arab Sarina. What? Who? Look, it says um, it's manufactured by... Multistrada. Multistrada. Ara. Sarana. Garana. Garaha. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. It's like a Money German company. Korea or somewhere. Yeah. And a brand of it is Achilles. Yeah. Look, that's the brand. Achilles. 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 Yeah, yeah come on. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to the right. Yep, that was perfect timing! All you have to do is just go take it for a test spin. And I can get that on video too. And it'll be complete. No video is complete without taking it for a spin, eh? No video is complete like that. Good thing why like, all cars actually come with jacks like that so you can work on it. Unless you need to get some, do some changes on it. Right, that's just got a spare wheel in there, like that, exactly the same. Yeah. Same model as well, wheel in there. I'm going to show him the wheel real quick. The front of the wheel, like, on the, on the spare one. You don't have to um, take the actual wheel out, like, you just show him the front of it. The show them in there. Yeah. Oh, new one that never been used. Like that, and it hasn't even been broken in yet. Made in Japan. This is a Japanese company. Yeah. And look at the size of this giant bucket thing as well. That's a big chunk of polystyrene. Yeah. That's a massive chunk. That's the repair done. Number two, which is the final part, is to take it for a test drive. Then I'll be able to edit these clips together and now we'll be done. Okay. Simple. Yeah. Oh, and there is the speaker there too. Plastic one under there too. Plastic frame, look. Right. See, it's it. plastic. Right, take it for a drive then. Show off. <laughs> oh, and by the way, if you guys um wanted to know, um this is um this engine is a V6 model, V6 type engine. It's pretty good though. See down all the things down in there. Where's the alternator? Show me the alternator. Oh, it's, sure. it's in there somewhere. <laughs> it may even be on the front or the side. I don't know. Oh, I can see the starter motor. I can see it. Yeah, look. Right here. Right here. Yeah, right there. You see that big, big thing there? I don't know either, I thought that was. Look, you see it? Big coolant pipe too. Wow. Massive coolant pipe. Got dual fans in there, cooling fans. Wow. Oof. It must have took them a long time in order to build this whole thing. You think? It must have took them a long time to build that whole thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
hear the thing going like crazy in there, look. Oof. Oh yeah, it's going. It's direct drive. Direct drive thing, Tom Cove. Perfect. Look at that bright red. Ooh. Yeah, this thing might need a little bit of a repaint, don't you think? This toolbox. It's like the other one's completely repainted. Huh? I've had that since my apprenticeship days, that toolbox. What? Oh, yeah, about 30 that, years now. That top one? Wow. I bought that when I was doing my apprenticeship. Oh, cool. Way before you started work? No, I started work. I was in my apprenticeship learning the trade. Oh, yeah, interesting. Yeah. I hope so. See, look, uh, Dad, watch this. Watch. <laughs> Helicopter. Ooh, that's weird, eh? Big mm. metal in my thing. You see the top of that thing too. Mm. You're pretty silent, metal, ain't I? Yeah, I, I, I want to show a little clip of the engine running. Because um, I've been having um, a few comments that say want to see the engine run for a minute. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to see it start out. Got the fans going too. Oh wow. Whoa. Look at that, it's running good, eh? See? Look at that, she's running smoothly. Perfect. It's even more so into when it's on the thing, eh? On the hood. Right. Alright, let's do it. Oh, a little bit of squeaking, but it's not too bad though. Oh, it's this back one squeaking now. It's back one squeaking. <laughs> yeah, a back left now. Listen. See? A back left. I'll check the right one. I'll check the right one. It's called inspection. No, no squeaking on the back right, or the back, or the front right. I can only hear the other one squeaking. One yeah, we have to sort that out next time. <laughs> that one's okay. It's just this one that is squeaking now. It's just this one. Yeah. I definitely uh, hear it though. It's a different setup as well. Yeah, that's a different setup, don't you think? Yeah. Mm. Okay. I'll have to sort that out sometime. Mm. 
Possibly in the next part of the series or something. Possibly. Hey. Is it hot? Nah, that thing isn't hot at all. Work, feel it. No. Yeah, it's not hot, hot at all. Well, I think there's an improvement anyway. <laughs> Definitely made an improvement on the front left, though, eh? Uh, this bad noise was definitely because um that noise was definitely driving me mad. Yeah. Like it really like, hurts your ears, doesn't it? When you hear it, it hurts your ears. Um, yeah, like you for a look how close the thing is. Look, look how close it is. Yeah, you see. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right. I will see, boy. Yeah, boy. That was good, eh? Sorting out the two brakes and everything. That was good. Yeah, well, it's not squeaking as much as it was. Yeah, there's only the back left now that needs sorting out. It does need a bit of a check up once in a while. I'm okay with that, though. That's good. 142 already, wow. You're right. Nail gun sound. Nail gun sound. Mm. Well, someone's got a subwoofer. Baby snail. It's cool. Shut the gate. Yep. Test drive, huh? Well, hey, that was pretty good. Um, doing the tires so mm -hmm. You think? All we have to do is just the back left, and that's all we have to do. And hopefully, that will stop the squeaking for good. Yeah. Mm hmm. I can see the bears. It's still up in the tree, look. Up in the tree there. Look, you see the bear? Right there, Dad. You see it? Right there. There he is. Cool. Yeah, minor beats. <laughs>